Hi folks, today we're going to take a look at Caroline in Fort Worth. Now this is an update video that she put out about her upcoming cases evolving her arrest on June 23rd. But before we start today's video, as always, a big thank you to all of my current and new channel members and subscribers. Without your guys' continuous, ongoing support, I couldn't keep the channel going, so I want to thank you all personally from the bottom of my heart. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the page. Leave a like and a comment because it really helps me with the algorithm. And if you can, please consider becoming a member. With all that being said, let's enjoy today's video. This is the Tarrant County Justice Center. And when the judge called me up to his bench last Tuesday, I thought for sure he was just going to dismiss the resisting arrest charge. Instead, they added two more. They added interference with public duties and false reporting. Hot damn! Then they gave me this piece of paper with my three charges. We'll go over that in a minute. But the person that gave me that paper was Lloyd Wetchell. He's the new district attorney on this case. That's him right there. And he makes big bucks, over $200,000 a year. So let's go back to the scene of the crime. Here's the crime. And we're going to compare it to what they said I did. Police officers in Fort Worth, Texas are very non-transparent. Anytime you ask them a question about what's going on, they ignore you and walk by you or refuse to answer you. And that's exactly what happened this night. Shenanigans. Na, 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 na. Shenanigans. Na, 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 na. And we're calling shenanigans, folks. Get ready because you're going to hear me call a lot of shenanigans here. But this wasn't because you were simply asking them questions and they were ignoring you. This was because you broke the law. Now, we're going to see in this video with her own words and her own actions that she broke the law like we did in the original video. But the Fort Worth Police Department is transparent. I'm willing to bet if you would have conducted yourself in a proper manner instead of breaking the law, they would have talked to you. You probably could have said, hey, when you have the chance, can we speak? And they would have. Instead, you just do stuff the hard way. To me, it looked like they were towing cars off, so I wanted to be sure they were. I thought, maybe, maybe, maybe if I ask, they'll tell me what's going on. And here's what happened. Does anybody know how to do these? This is what the sign says. I got I to gotta spread so we can focus in. Here's what the sign say. The sign say, validated parking, please register upon parking. Business is can then validate parking for Folk Street warehouses. Ways to validate. You can scan the QR code or text pay. Failure to pay or extend time may result in boots. Okay, so how do they know if they paid or not? That's what I want to know. How do they know if they paid or not? How do you know if they paid or not? How do you guys know if they paid or not? Oh, they're going to ignore me too. Help! Right! Fire! 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 You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. That's great community relations, too. There's a third charge they gave me. That's the false reporting charge. So this is what they said about count three, and it's further presented in and to said court that the defendant in the county of Tarrant and state aforesaid on or about the 23rd day of June 2024 did then and there knowingly initiate or communicate a report or of a present or past offense or other emergency that she knew was false and baseless and that would ordinarily cause action by an official or volunteer agency organized to deal with the emergencies. But what they left off was this. They have to prove that all three elements of this crime existed and occurred. Think about how I said it and where I Are you sure about that? I said it and what I said to my audience. I did not cause action by an official or, or volunteer agency organized to deal with emergencies. I didn't place a person in fear of intimate, serious bodily injury. Nobody was afraid of what I said. And I didn't prevent or interrupt the occupation of a building, a room, a place of assembly, a place to which the public had access to, an aircraft, automobile, or any other kind of mode of, con of conveyance. So there you go. Not guilty of that one. Actually, Caroline, under the Texas Penal Code 42.6, false alarm and or report, they would have a grounds to actually file the charge, which they do, 
and you could be found guilty of this because of what it says. Causing action by an official or volunteer agency organized to deal with emergencies. Because you're screaming fire, fire, and then the R word, which is a common thing that they teach women to in self-defense courses if they are being attacked in that way to draw attention. So if somebody was to hear you scream that like you were and they were to call 911, that would cause the actions of an official police force to come out and deal with that emergency. So let's look at some more videos, shall we? Now this is a view from a surveillance camera from above. This had nothing to do with the police. This came from a store. As you can see, I'm standing next to a police car and I'm going to walk towards the two ladies that were just kind of strolling along and ask them some questions because I want to know if they're really towing the car or not. How do you not. know if they paid or not? How do you guys know if they paid or not? Oh, they're going to ignore me too. Help! Right! Fire! 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 That's great community relations too. <laughs> what a bitch. Here comes the exact moment Kruger exited the car. Get your timers you ready. Let's see how long it takes for him ladies. to exit the car till I'm down hey, on the ground. Hey ladies, hey ladies, hey Kruger. No, I'm not going to the floor. Go There's no investigation. There's no nothing. You yes, can go to the other side of the street. You're going to get arrested. I'm not warning you. Again. What are you talking about? Go to the other side of the street why? right now. Wait, tell me why first. We're doing it. You're under arrest. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Stop. That was 17 Stop seconds. Resisting. 17 seconds from when he exited the car until I was down on the ground. Seven. Now comes the part where we throw our heads back and laugh. Ready? Ready! 17 <laughs> seconds. So let's look at the second count they're trying to get me on, okay? Count two, and it is further presented in and to said court that the defendant in the county of Tarrant and the state aforesaid on or about the 23rd day of June, 2024, did with criminal negligence interrupt, disrupt, impede, or interfere with M. Kruger, a peace officer who was performing a duty or exercising authority imposed or granted by law, namely a criminal investigation, by refusing a directive to move away from the scene of the investigation. Hmm, okay, well, what they're not saying in this one is that they have four elements that they have to prove. And the first one is they have to prove criminal negligence, that I was acting within criminal negligence, which means a person ignores known or obvious risk or disregards the life and safety of others. Like, like yelling uh, fire and the R words happening to somebody. Yeah, that would be reckless negligence because you're trying to draw the attention of the police who are trying to do an investigation. So there's that one. You shake a ladder when someone's on top, or you take someone's arms and you throw them face down into the ground till they're unconscious for an hour and a half. That's what criminal negligence is. Now the second one they have to prove, they have to prove the second one, which is that the peace officer was performing a specific duty or exercising authorized authority. In other words, not every directive or action by a law enforcement officer falls within the interference with public duty statute. Because some of them don't and some of them do. But see, I'm allowed to walk around and take pictures and record police encounters, but I'm not free to just create an unreasonably dangerous environment through an intrusion or threatening behavior. I didn't do any of that. So but you did. And not only that, you did disobey a lawful directive. You can clearly see that they are towing vehicles from a private lot. Officer Kruger told you to go across the street to film or you would be arrested. And when you chose not to listen to him the first time and kept saying, but why, but why, that's when you ended up in cuffs and that's when you ended up on the ground. So they have to prove that I did. The third one they have to prove is that they have to actually demonstrate how uh, my, me, the suspect, how my, how my conduct specifically hindered performance of his duty. In other words, he got out of the car to see me. I didn't go to his car. He got out of the car and saw me. I was in that area for 20 minutes. Nobody told me to leave except for him. There were no cones. There were no tape. He came to me. I didn't go to him to interfere with him. 
so that one's out. And the fourth one is, they have to prove that this interference was more than free speech, if there is any interference at all, because most interference is physical. Well, it's simple, Caroline. We can explain those last two right here. The fact that you harassing the other officers on an active scene caused him to get out of the vehicle to tell you to go across the street and you would be arrested. And to answer the last one, how is this not protected free speech? Well, you can't yell fire in a crowded movie theater. And you definitely can't yell fire, fire, R word, because you want to get the attention of the cops so you can ask them questions about tow trucks. That is not protected free speech. That is consequential free speech on your end. What I don't understand is when we pay somebody $200,000 a year, they don't see what I see and the rest of everybody else sees. How come he doesn't see excessive force, unlawful arrest, unlawful directives, violation of all my rights because I went to jail, I was hurt, I had my arm uh, broken almost, and he doesn't see that, but he, they are treating me like a criminal at the court? Uh, dot, 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 yes. That's what we pay $200,000 a year for. And it was actually only nine seconds from the time he spoke to the time he slammed me. So let's look at the first charge that he decided to go ahead with and not just dismiss like uh, the right thing to do would have been. He, this is what the first charge is, and please try not to laugh. That, that Carolina Rodriguez here and after called defended in the county of Tarrant and state aforesaid on or about the 23rd day of June 2024 did intentionally prevent or obstruct M. Kruger, a person the defendant knew to be a peace officer, from effecting an arrest, search, or transportation of said defendant or another by using force against said peace officer, namely by pulling or pushing her body away from M. Kruger. Okay, I used force on him. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you his own body cam to show you that this did not happen. A lot of y'all pointed this out to me, but BZ Watchdog was the one that found it first. Watch what happens when we slow this video, okay? Now, that's his right arm reaching to get my right. So now he's going to have both my arms in his hands. And then, if you look at the shadow on the ground, you can see I'm not resisting, but I'm flopping around because, I, like, he's just pushing me all around with my arms like that. Like, that's how it got, the, he, he bent up so hard, that's how that elbow got popped out of joint and that shoulder got popped out of joint. Because of how he was doing right here. This is where it got popped out of joint. It hurt that much, and that's why I was jumping all around like I was. And if you look at the shadows, you can see right there that I wasn't resisting. He was just using excessive force on me, and it just... Shenanigans. Na, 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 na. Shenanigans. Na, 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 na. And we're calling shenanigans yet again. As we saw in that footage, Caroline, you did try to resist arrest. You did try to pull away. Not only that, looking closely at how your legs are bending and your stance that you're changing your position in, it looks like you're trying to stiffen your legs and lower your body weight to the lower part of your body to help affect the resisting of your arrest. Now, this could just be because, like you said, he was trying to use a pain compliance maneuver to place you in custody, or it could be the fact that you were actively- I kind of looked like I was resisting, but I couldn't because my arm was broken and pushed out of joint, so I couldn't resist. And there I'm going to go down. And you can see I'm not resisting because he's got me from behind with both his hands in my arms. And you can see by the shadows. So there you go. That's what he did. That's not resisting. Look at he's still got both my arms. Hero. Hero. Stopping me from, like, interfering. What a great hero he is. There, I'm getting mucked up. Huh. I really... And we're going to end it here, folks. The video does continue on to show two people going to a city council meeting to yell about Caroline's arrest. However, her own actions and her own words is what caused her arrest. And while her failed descriptions of her version of the events won't hold up in court. So if you guys like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a thumbs up and a comment because it helps me with the algorithm. And if you can, please consider becoming a member. With all that being said, be well, be safe, and I'll see you guys next.
And a special thank you to all members of the news team. Without your guys' continuous support, I couldn't keep the channel going. So I want to thank you all personally from the bottom of my heart. Thank you.